All right. Hey, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, giving all praise, honor and glory to the heavenly father. And his only begotten son, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rekakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders at Great Millstone, of whom I learn from daily. You hear that? Daily. And a healthy shalom to the brothers that are out there doing the work in truth and sincerity. <coughs> Please excuse me. I got another damn summer cold, man. This place is all messed up. You know, the air, everything, it's all messed up. But all you brothers already know. All right. So we're going to get into this right here. I don't know what prompted me to make this video. I guess it was I was watching some documentary and I saw a couple things. I may even put the clips in here. I don't know. But we're going to let's read this right here. Look, look, bugged out. Eve is bugged out. And that's the northern and southern kingdom. Both of them. All right. We went, went off. Uh, Israelites, we went off by uh, uh, following and worshiping idols any damn way. This is crazy. The witches of Baltimore. Listen to this. All right. And this is part of the problem right here. Young black women and nobody's black. That's part of the problem. Nobody knows the Holy One of Israel. They don't know the Holy One of Israel. They're not understanding what's going on here. Let's let you know. They don't get it. They really have no fear of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Leaving the churches, leaving Slakia, leaving Christianity. Let's just read it. Young black women are leaving Christianity, which is white supremacy. And embracing African Witchcraft in digital coven, covens, okay? Digital covens. Uh, let's look that up. What is digital covens? <clears throat> I didn't plan on looking this up, but whatever. We're going to look it up and see what this means. Stay with me. You see, digital covens. Um, definition. All right, let's see what this definition is. See, black millennials leaving church. Uh, that's where I was at. Coven, I see covens. Let's see, let's see what this means here. A collection of individuals with similar interests or activities. Okay, well, yeah, well your covenant, right. Covens, okay, I, I get it. An assembly or band of usually 13 witches. That's interesting. Huh, that's why we look up words here. So let's see, synonymous with body, circle, uh, click, uh, a corte, fold, gang, clash, network, ring, bunch, clan. All right, you, you already got it. You see, lot. Woo, everybody's back in their lot, right? Pack or set. And these, 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 look, bug out. You can see the demons all over this damn Eve, man. And you know what's a shame right here? We're going to get into the scriptures. But the sh it, it, it's a shame that, you know, Eve, it, it, the northern and southern kingdom, because I, I am going to play some of them clips. You got Northern Kingdom worshiping the damn dead. You know, I mean, like real skeletons, real people that they, that they got uh, hanging up with, with white robes and and damn uh, head coverings on. And, and, and this is what I was going to say, man. This this world is all kinds of... <laughs> you jakes are upside down, man. You, you, you jakes are crazy. You really never got the truth in, in the, in, in the so-called church and so-called Christianity, so you run straight... To the to what you think is the opposite side of it, right? When really, you know, Christianity is full of, of a bunch of damn witchcraft, man. So you really, you really have done no different. She's bugged out. The, anyway, what I was saying was, I know I'm sort of all over the place already, but it's a damn shame that they leave Christianity or the, uh, the so-called church, if you will, and then start putting on long dresses and damn uh, and, and head coverings. Ain't that some shit? Ain't that something, right? That's that's crazy, man. All right, we we may not be Christian here, but we still pray. Pray to whom? <clears throat> some idol, some some dead yourself. It's really self worship, man. Queen of Heaven spirit all over the place. All right, said a woman dressed entirely in white. She addressed a large audience of African American women. See, that's again, that's a part of the problem. You don't know who you are. So you will run uh, Israelites, man. This does you see what daily edification for? Do not be double, double tongued, right? Yeah, don't, yeah, don't be double tongued. That's right. Anyway, standing behind a uh, elect a lectern, speaking in uh, cadence, or of or of a preacher. Mm, interesting. She added, "I understand." Uh, we'll just read it verbatim. God, more now. You, do you see this? Doing what I'm doing uh, than I ever did in the church. Why? Because they don't teach you anything in church. 
They don't teach you anything in Christianity except for a, a white Jebus. That's that's you know that's all you know. And, and God loves everybody. And all you gotta do is get saved and this and that, blah blah blah. But see, Jake, you know, you know Eve, uh, Eve and Jake, you know the males and females, they have a zeal, but not according to knowledge, as the scripture said. You know these 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 people are bugged out, man. Uh, see the call of the call and response that followed. No one's going to protect us, but who? Us. That's see. That's the problem. You taking everything into your own hands, and you're not and you're not making Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, Yahweh Shai, your rock of salvation, because you don't know. You haven't been taught anything. That's your problem. You've been taught nothing whatsoever. What's going on up here? I got, I got a couple of scriptures. We won't make it too long. Here we go. <clears throat> Jeremiah 23, verse 20. The anger, well, see, we caused them to anger. Why? Worshiping idols, going off and doing everything, but coming back to the true power of Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. The anger of the Lord shall not return until he have executed and until he have performed the thoughts of his heart. In the latter days, ye shall consider it perfectly. That's the whole point. In the latter days, ye shall consider it perfectly. And that's who? The people who have the eyes out and the understanding. And it's up to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to give us the understanding in the first place. Now, Let's go. Verse 21. And I have not set these prophets. See, that's what it was talking about. Yet they ran. I have not spoken to them, yet they prophesied. Right? All right. So let's go here. <clears throat> Check this out. That extra bit of help. There's a long tradition of witchcraft and black magic here in Mexico, so I've arranged see? to see a shaman Northern Kingdom. and see if she can offer me some protection from some of the dark forces at work here. See that right there? Okay. I won't play too much of this. But first, I want to find out what sort of spell she has. I'm curious to know how dark her magic is and how far she's prepared to go. See that? All right, that's one video. <coughs> Here's another one. Siempre la muerte sí. Sí, pues viene desde los aztecas, desde los mixtecas. Siempre la muerte siempre. Northern Kingdom bugged out too. See, worship in the damn dead, man. So it's a bit like the Grim Reaper then, with the sign. These these are things that cannot save us. No, no, no. Ese es un pendejismo de todos ustedes. Un vil pendejismo. Él, ella no corta ninguna cabeza. Bunch of madness. You see all this, okay? There's, there's a couple more. Let's see what this one. Oh, oh, that was. Oh, this is a whole nother video right here. That's a whole nother video right there. Let's go back. Yep, that's right. Honestly, look. Jesus was one of the most toxic relationships I've ever had in the entirety. Do you hear what she said? Let's go back. I honestly believe Jesus was one of the most toxic relationships I've ever had in the entirety of my life. You shouldn't keep your magic in the dark. Like, this is your soul. You need to share it to the world. Let it rain on me now. Bunch so of damn demons and sense. devils, man. Bunch of witches. All right? You heard what she said. She said Jebus was a, the most toxic relationship I ever had. I wonder why. Because y'all was all up in Christianity. That's your problem. To Jesus to show up for th how many times have I prayed to Jesus to show up for things that were actually needed and he didn't show up? Uh huh. Melissa See? Whitestone grew up. Hear what she said? How many times have I prayed to Jesus and for things that I needed and he didn't show up? Why? Because you, that's not his name. And you have no idea what the hell you're talking about. Okay? Going the hell off, man. Jonah 3 and verse 9. Who can tell if the Most High Power will turn and repent and turn away? From his fierce anger that we perish not. Did you see that? Why is he angry yet again? Because because the Israelites went the hell off, went way the hell off. And they stay their own, as the scripture said, right? And the Most High Power saw their works, there it is, that they turned from their evil way, and the Most High Power repented of the evil that he that he has said. That he would do unto them, and he did it not. Right? Do you see that? Hmm? All because of idolatry, man. Idolatry. Thou shalt have no other gods but him.
That's what the scripture says. But just see, that's the thing, man. Jake does everything else but the right thing. They have a zeal, but not according to knowledge, right? Isaiah 8, verse 13. Sanctify the Lord. What? Sanctify the Lord, Yahweh of hosts himself, and let him be your fear. Let him be your dread. See? Let him be your fear. Let him be your dread. Verse 14. And he shall be for a sanctuary, but for a stone, stone of stumbling block, and for a rock of of offense to both the houses of Israel for a gin and for a snare to the inhabitants of Jerusalem because we went the hell off verse 15 and many among them shall stumble and fall and be broken and be snared and be taken right and what and be snared and be taken look just lost in the sauce, man. Completely gone. I left Christianity because it wouldn't teach me anything. And now I'm, I feel closer to God. You have got to be kidding me. You know, blaspheming the name at that. See, that's the thing. That's the thing. You don't even know his name. I'll get to that. I'll get to some of those scriptures right there. Because there's power in his name. You know, there is power in his name. And, and, and the heathen, uh, uh, they cannot utter his name. Colo that's, that, that's why they try so hard. You know, he likes the vocab and all the rest of these damn people. They try so hard to keep that name out of, uh, out of your mind, out of your, uh, you know, uh, your uh, meditation thereof, right? Colossians 1 and verse 3. We give thanks to the Most High Yahweh and to the Father of our Lord, Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, the anointed, praying always for you. And that, that also reminds me of something else. I just spoke to uh, uh, the brother uh, Neil, uh, what's his name? Neil Lapaya, right? And, you know, hey, I told him I, I told him I'd pray for him because he was having some, you know, some headache issues or whatever, you know, and headaches can be bad. So, uh, you know, here it is. I'm, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pray for you, brother. And, you know, and you other brothers that hear this, you uh, also pray for the brother, man. Pray for each other all the time. Pray for the brother Amuana Bod, all right? He's having some, th uh, some throat issues, man, you know? He said he feel like he's choking every time he speaks. But this is, just, you know, it's a part of our lot. You know, hey, uh, pray for me. Pray for each and every one of us. Okay? Psalms 119, 105. You know, hey, pray for the brothers that may have their jobs in jeopardy. And pray, pray, pray without ceasing, as the scripture said. All the time. Psalms 1, but pray not for these damn uh, witches and warlocks and sorcerers and murderers. Pray not for them. All right. Psalms 119, 105. None. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Did you see that? You know, and I didn't play, I didn't play that whole that whole one of those whole clips. Uh, because one of the one of the Northern Kingdom women said, uh, was talking about this this, this dead uh, a damn corpse with a with, with a uh, a cross, wearing a cross. She said, uh, we pray that she is a, a light to our, our steps or a light to our way. You see, going to hell off, man. Jake is bugged out, completely bugged out. Was that Guadalupe and they, uh, they are uh, Northern Kingdom right, be riding around with, uh, with Cesare and, and, uh, and, uh, and the, the so-called so Virgin Mary worshiping men, a bunch of Catholics. You know, and then you got Jake all up in Christianity. You, we know that's that's the hell off. As a matter of fact, Christianity stemmed from uh, 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 Calab uh, Calabacism. I think that's how you say it anyway. Stem from that anyway, right? John 1 verse 1. Follow me now, Israel. I won't make this too long. I, un I understand that, you know, the videos get too long and Jake don't want to hear it. <laughs> oh, man, it is what it is. Jake's got the attention span of a damn goldfish. Ooh, it's 144. Let's go. Woo. That's right. John 1 verse 1. And my phone had to chime on that one. That's beautiful. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with the Most High Yahweh, and the word was Yahweh. You see that? It's all about the word, not about what you think and how you feel. I didn't get anything out of that. Well, it's because it's, it's false. The scripture talks about surely your fathers have inherited lives. You've been taught by your damn enemy, Eve. 
All right, and and Jake, because you know, uh, you got a uh, uh, you know Eve is Jake Salakia, the males and the females, but you got these dudes, all these pork chop preachers, you know, they they are uh, uh, they're trying everything and they're pushing hard. I put up a video uh, a couple weeks ago, I suppose, it may have been a, a, upwards of a month ago. I don't know. Of uh, they trying everything. You got a, a robot preachers. You, uh, they they uh. Try, try to feed you with certain foods that try to get you in the church's gimmicks. Hell, even uh, I, even IUIC uses gimmicks to try to get you to join their church. And they're nothing more than a, uh, uh, Christianity themselves. Just with a little spin on it. That's all it is, man. Verse two, the same was in the beginning with the most high. All things were made by him. Without him was nothing, was not anything made. That was made in him was life. Do you hear this? In him was life and in the life was the light of men. See the light of men. He is the chief cornerstone. That is our rock of foundation of salvation, our foundation, a sure foundation, not anything else. Everything else it's just, it's, it's, it can go by the wayside. It doesn't matter. Idolatry, man idolatry you jakes man you're gonna understand from the least to the greatest everybody's gonna understand you're gonna get it exodus 20 here we go yeah exodus 20 and verse 4 thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth okay now that being said uh, you know, at, at camp, we, we've got signs of what Yahweh Shai looks like according to Revelations, according to Daniel. OK, but we don't worship that. That's the whole point. Do you see? Do you see what I'm getting at here? That's the whole point. Why we would why we would worship that? This is for edification purposes. All right. That sign is for edification purposes. Really, all we need is the 12 tribes chart. All right. But here it is. You have them, and they, and they I believe they said it in the videos, that they actually worship in these things. So in witchcraft, basically they say they worship, they worship in what, Satan? They worship, no, they worship in themselves. You know, liken unto the damn heathens, man. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them. For I, the Lord Yahweh, thy power, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquities of the fathers upon the upon the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. And if you don't love him, you damn sure hate him. Bugged, bugged the hell out, man. <clears throat> Just gone. Ezekiel 6 and verse 9. And they that escape of you shall remember me amongst the nations. Rather, they shall be carried captives because I have because I am broken with their whorish heart. What does a whore do? Sleeps around. Sleeping with other idols. We're going to read about it. Okay? Their whore's heart, which have departed from me, and their eyes, which go a whoring after their idols. And they shall loathe themselves for the evils which they have committed in their, in their abominations. Do you see it? It's like you. I'm all stopped up. Do you see it? Their abominations, right? That's an abomination, man. And you can, and again, look, you can see the spirits all over that damn Eve, man. In the, in the, in the back, that one, she got a head wrap on. You see, it's, if everybody's all mixed up, messed up, man. Okay? Over the past decades, white millennials have embraced witchcraft in, in droves. You, you know, nobody cares about them because they, they, they the devil the Bible speaks of anyway. They've always uh, uh, worshiped worship themselves. Yeah, that's why we don't celebrate birthdays and shit like that, man. Okay? Yahweh Shai never did anything like that. Why would we? It's crazy. As a matter of fact, yeah, I know how old I am, but, <clears throat> you know, when, when the birthday day hits or whatever, man, I'm so far removed from that bull crap. Oh, boy. Now a parallel phenomenon is emerging among black millennials where their exact numbers are difficult to gauge. Okay. It is clear that African is, it was, it, well, are we black or African? Oh boy, I cannot stand that black African 
them hoteps. Oh, man, y'all going the hell off, man. Anyway, American pop culture has started to reflect the trend in in the music industry alone. Yep, that's another. And that's witchcraft right there. You know, not even not even having to mention the fact that these uh these ish people, the 1948ers, they run the whole damn music industry. You know, that's why they put that's why they put songs out there like murder, 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 kill, 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 uh, uh, uh bitch, ho. You know, it goes on and on and on. Kill each other, kill each other, kill each other. There's, there's songs that chant this, man. Trap music. Okay? You know, even you know, even in your rock and roll and all that, man. These people are crazy, man. Ecclesiastes Sirach 25 and verse 24. Of the woman came the beginning of sin, and through her we all die, man. Through what? Through her we all die. A bunch of a bunch of witchcraft, man. And you, and you learned that from your damn from the enemy, man. You learned that all the way from Genesis. You made a pat. You made a pat with this damn devil, and now look at you. And when they and they gonna chew you up, and when they spit you out, don't come. Don't come this way. Okay, don't come this way. Cause I ain't having it. No, personally, I'm just speaking as a man. I'm saying. First Samuel 15 verse 23 for rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft, and stubbornness is as iniquity and idolatry. Did you see this stubbornness? Right. <laughs> because thou has rejected the word of the Lord Yahweh, he ha he have also rejected thee from being king. We all know what queen means, all right? He's rejected thee from what being king. And again, that's this is for the males and the females. Now, what does that say? Let's go back to John. Where was I at here? Um, Slakia. Yeah, there we are. John one of verse one. In the beginning was the word. And the word was with the most high uh, power, okay? And the word was with the, was the most high power, right? You see that? It's going back down here. Let's read this one more time. For rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft. Rebellion. And what? Idolatry. Stubbornness is, idol is iniquity and idolatry. Because thou hast rejected the word. There it is. The Lord Yahweh also has rejected thee. From being king, man. You see that? Exodus 22 and verse 18. Thou shalt not suffer a witch to live. So you are going to die in your iniquities. If you don't repent and come back to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. You know, and, and, and again, man, it's northern and southern kingdom. You sought your own damn self. These people are crazy. You know, lost your damn mind. What, what I have here? I had something else pulled up here. Again, I, I'm going to close it out. I won't make it too long. Uh, Acts 3 and verse 16. By what faith? This is the it's the NIV right here. All right. Let's, let's read it in the New Living Translation. Let's read it in that. Through faith is the name of Hamashiach Yahawashai. That's his name. This man was healed, and you know how crippled he uh, he was before. Faith in Yahawashai, in Yahawashai's what name he uh, has healed him before your very eyes, okay? So maybe that wasn't the best one to read. Let's read this in the KJV. And his name through faith is, uh, through faith in, in, uh, in name have made this man strong, whom ye see and ye know, and ye know, yeah, that faith which is by him has given him this perfect soundness in the presence of you all. Now, that was a better version right there. You see, in what his name, but you got to know what his name is. Malachi 1 and verse 14. But cursed be the deceiver. Oh, boy. Uh, our people, our people deceive the hell out of each other, too. That's a fact. The, the, uh, the whole Christianity. And that's why they're probably leaving, because they realized it was some bullshit. But then they run straight to witchcraft. Man, y'all are bugged all the way out. But cursed be the deceiver, which in his flock, a, uh, which in his flock, a male and voweth and sacrifice unto the Lord, a corrupt thing. We are supposed to make our bodies a living sacrifice. So when you going into witchcraft and you going into all the rest and any damn thing else other than Yahweh, it's a corrupt thing, man. 
See that? For I am a great king, saith the Lord Yahweh, of hosts, of armies. My name is dreadful among the heathen. You heard what that E said. Uh, every time I prayed to Jebus, nothing ever had. He never did anything for me, so I left. But they have no idea that they're actual Hebrew Israelites. They are actually beloved by Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai. But on this side, you're going to catch a missile. You know, you, you're going to be missile food, right? You know? So, you know, that's, that's all I had on that. And I'll just leave it right there. I'll just leave it right there. Let's, well, let's play this one more time. How many times have I prayed to Jesus to show up for things that were actually needed and he didn't show up? Melissa Whetstone. See? It's because you were, you were damn devil your own damn self. Hopefully this lesson was edifying, giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekak Wadash, double honors to the apostles and the elders, a great millstone of whom I learn from daily, and a healthy shalom to the brothers that are out there doing the work in truth and sincerity. Again, like I said, I wasn't going to make this too long. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What, what, what is this? Hold on a minute. Oh, Salakia. So American pop culture has started to reflect the trend in the music industry alone. Uh, there's Beyonce's allusion to African goddess. Ooh, this is crazy. All right, in Lemonade and uh, and the Grammys. I'm not sure what Lemonade is. Maybe it's one of her songs. I wouldn't know because I don't listen to that. She's a damn witch on damn self. You see that? Let's see, Azalea uh, Banks' declaration to the to that she practices... Uh, Baruja, which is some, some uh, a Spanish term for witchcraft. There it is right there. Northern and Southern Kingdom. Y'all all going to hell off. All right. Uh, she, what she tells white, white witches, <laughs> everything you got, you got from us. Ain't that some shit? <laughs> so they doubling down and bragging about it. You white witches, everything you got, you got from us. Well, hey, the scripture did say that Jacob is the former of all things. I'm just saying, again, hopefully this lesson was edifying, man. Every chance you get, chant this place down the right way. <laughs> DTA and Quam Yasharada, wa a Bible ball. Boom! Shalom. Destroy this place. This is terrible. Wow.